out there. Pascal Siakam. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's Neesmith. And it's Nemhard in at the shooting guard position. And for New York, Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And then there's Precious Achua. Then it's Josh Hart. And it's Hartenstein in at the center position. Look at Indiana. They've held their own so far, Greg, in this series. And if they can pull it off, what a win that would be for them tonight. And it would put them in the driver's seat, Kevin. One win from the conference finals. Game fives on the road are never easy to win, though. For them to do it, they're going to have to grind this one out. That's why game fives are so fun. Hart, the pass to Brunson. Shot clock at six. This one for three. The rebound by Turner. And here's Halliburton. Into the lane. Siakam passes to Turner. Over Hart. The shot by Turner, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Here's Achua. Poke loose. Here's Nemhard. Brunson covering. Nemhard, the pass to Halliburton. Outside Turner. Pass to Siakam. Six on the shot clock. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. And so it's Hard who brings up the ball for New York. Now here's Brunson. He's covered closely. Charity swipe shot. He tries for three. Shot's good by Achua. Well, great feed there by Jalen Brunson. A terrific facilitator. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Nemhard, defended by DiVincenzo. Nemhard, the pass to Turner. Basket counts. Boy, tough trying to match Turner's intensity. I mean, once he's committed to scoring the ball, you're not stopping it. And the pass to Hart. Brunson against Halliburton. There's the pick. Shoots. Brunson, good. And you can tell Brunson has been well coached. He knows just when to call for that pick and roll. Halliburton deciding where to go with it. It's blocked, and he's able to get it back. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Hartenstein. Brunson against Halliburton. Now Brunson. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. And he has become deadly from that in-between area. Brunson as efficient on the mini as anybody. Siakam outside. Let's it go with a three. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. And this is postseason play at its finest. Refusing to give up shots here in the playoffs. Pacers trail by three. Halliburton outside. Pass to Nemo. And here is Neesmith. Turner with a screen on Hart. Neesmith, it's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, pass to Hartenstein. Now, here's a chew covered by Siakam. Brunson against Halliburton. Five to shoot. Shoots it. And there's another one for the Knicks. 
you know, you're going to have success when you can start out shooting 80% from the game. So, early offensively, they've been great. That's the way you want to see. Nemhard, the pass to Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. You can tell Siakam has this action down. He knows just when to roll off the pit and receive the ball. Even Chenzo passes to Hartenstein. And can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Here's Nemhard. Nothing on the board. Out to Turner. The pass to Siakam. Indiana moving it around. Turner with a screen on DiVincenzo. A shot by Nemhard. No good. The Knicks leading by three. Hart finds Brunson. Here's the screen. Releases. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Hartenstein's got his second basket of the game. Passes it to Hart. Cuts off the pass. Here's Nemar. Defended by DiVincenzo. Siakam passes to Neesmith. Indiana again. Missing. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. To DiVincenzo. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. And it's Turner finishing it off. Tremendous display of chemistry and connectedness by Turner with his teammates. All they have to do is lob it his way and he'll handle the rest. with it. He's got six. Here's Hartenstein. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give him a little bump and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time and if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. And he makes the first. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. And Siakam has got the ball here for Indiana. They trail by seven. They'd like to continue the success they had on Friday night here. And after that game, it was impressive to look at the box score and see the work they did at the free throw line. And not only what they did in making them, but what they did to get to the line. I mean, they were constantly in attack mode, driving the lane and drawing fouls. But that's good. And the Knicks lead by 10. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. It's tipped. Rocket six. Nee Smith, the pass to Siakam. It's deflected. Now, here's Hart. Brunson surveying the D. Oats one up. Hartenstein. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. And now it's a 12-point Knicks lead. So the Pacers call timeout. Their first of the game. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana.
And it's the Pacers with the ball. A 12-point game. Inside, here's Turner. It's rebounded by New York. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Hartenstein passes to Brunson. Achua with it. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point territory, it's rebounded by Neesmith. Pacers trail by 12. Pass to McConnell. Here's Nemo. And once again off the mark by Indiana. New York's gone 3 of 5 from three-point land so far in the ballgame. There's the pass to Achua. Brunson with it. Over McConnell. Brunson no good. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Nemhard the pass to Siakam. Gets McConnell atop the key. Finds himself wide open and drills it. And the all-around game of Siakam so adept at working the ball to open guys. McConnell against Brunson. There's the screen. Passes it to Achua. <laughs> First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And that one falls for Achua. A different look for New York. McBride's checked in, and Alec Burks subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. He hits both from the strike. Pacers trail by 12. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. The Pacers pull it in. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Here's Siaka. Brooks pulls it in. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Pass to Brunson. Jacks up a three. Alec Burks, and that's good. And the Knicks lead by 15. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. Siakam kicks to McConnell. Jackson setting the pick here for McConnell. And it's blocked. The Knicks leading by 15. Pass to McBron. One twenty-five left in the first quarter to the paint. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. He misses the free throw. Halliburton's checked in for Pascal Siakam. He's off on the second. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Down by 15. And it's Isaiah Hartenstein with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And New York making a change here. Sims has checked in.
Indiana moving it around. Halliburton up top. Shoots over Burks. And Halliburton gets it to go on the assist by McConnell. Boy, the defense was tough right there, but Halliburton just locked in, kept his focus, and knocked it down. Here's Hartenstein. Guarded by Jackson. The pass to Burks. Six to shoot. To the inside. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punch blazing. Halliburton on the wing. Burks covering. There's McConnell. The 15-footer. Good. McConnell's got his second bucket. And, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid-range. Burks against Halliburton. Burks looking around. Passes to Brunson. Buries it down low. Brunson's got eight points. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence, the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Knicks lead by 15. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinals. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers. Spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. Pacers trail by 15. On the court right now for the Pacers. Tyrese so Halliburton is out there with T.J. McConnell. And there's Jackson. Then there's Toppin. And it's Shepard in at the three, the small forward. Pass to Hartenstein. Pass to McGraw. Burks in the corner. A three-pointer, no good. The pace is shooting 43% from the floor. Halliburton kicks to McConnell. And there's the pass to Shepard. To the middle, trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. Shoots over Brunson. The putback and the second chance effort by Jackson. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And night in and night out, that's what he provides. Here's Hartenstein. And the rejection by Jackson. is it to McConnell and so it looks like the Pacers will retain possession here great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out and you know even though they didn't come up with the steal that's still a nice defensive play hard he's checked in for Hartenstein Toppin passes to Shepard back to Toppin now McConnell out to the wing just five to shoot. Knocked loose. McConnell against Brunson. Back to Hart. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Indiana. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. And Toppin throws it down. No way Halliburton is going to sleep on that one. I mean, he's too good at reading the defense. New York leading by nine. Brunson the pass to Hart. Brunson against McConnell. Hart. And 
Here's McConnell. Jackson a screen on Brunson. Down low. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. He dishes it to Burks. Back to Brunson. Over Toppin. And there's Brunson. That's good. On the assist by Burks. Burks has got three assists now in this one. Here's Shepard. No scoring in this one. Over to the wing. Pass to McConnell. Stolen by Brunson. Pass to McBrunt. Here's the three. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got four rebounds in this game. McConnell scanning the floor. Toppin sets a screen for McConnell. Ball's not loose. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. To the left side wing. Hart the pass to Sims. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. He's one of the best in the league at that. Even with just a tiny sliver, he always seems to find a way to get it up and in. Jackson a screen on Burks. It'll go, and the New York leaders get down to 11 on the bucket from Halliburton. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Now the pass to Burks. Hart with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's McBride. Off target from three-point range. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. Here's Shepard. Rebounded by Hart. Hart's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Brunson. And the Knicks good for two. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last ten points have all come off assists. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That's his first foul. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Burks. New York on D. Toppin passes to McConnell. Halliburton a screen on Brunson. Four on the shot clock. Achua, he's checked in for New York. Indiana also making some changes. Siakam is checked in for Toppin. And it's Neesmith in for T.J. McConnell. Outside Turner. Here's Nemhard. Still yet to score. And pushing it up. Here's New York. Now Brunson. Over Neesmith. The rebound by Turner. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with River. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Nice job by Halliburton. Showing you the toughness that time going right into that defense and drawing the foul. The Pacers shooting their first free throws of the evening. That's good from Halliburton. I tell you, one of the things I've noticed about Halliburton is his endurance, man. It is off the chart. He's always pushing the pace and really outworking other guys most of the time. 
He's constantly revving up the motor and taking things up a notch. Halliburton hits them both. Yeah, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Halliburton against Brunson. Shoots from 12. Here's a two-off. The dunk by a two-off. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second-chance opportunities can be game-changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Tipped away and stolen by a Chua. Here's McBride. Hasn't made one yet. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's McBride. Six on the shot clock. Here's Brunson. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. And the Knicks lead by 15. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Nemhard covered by Achua. And the Pacers can't get it to go. The Knicks have gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. Nick Bride passes to Brunson. They set the pick. It's rebounded by Indiana. Halliburton with it. Eight points for him. Pass to Siakam. Here's Nemhard. The pass to Turner. Takes it out to Siakam. And a miss there on the triple. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Hart, wide open. He fires. Offline with his three. The Pacers have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Tries the spin move. Halliburton passes to Nemo. Here's Siakam. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Runs in the pass to Achua. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And you see how Brunson's fine-tuned his playmaking ability. That pass on time and on point. This is his third trip to the free throw line. And the Knicks making a change here. Martin Stein's checked in. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Indiana. And that one falls for Achua. Pacers trail by 18. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Turner with the screen. McConnell passes to Turner. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got three assists in the game. This is all you can do. I mean, Turner's height, length, skill level, and he's got confidence now. That all allows him to score under pressure. DiVincenzo finds Hart. Back to DiVincenzo. Knocks it loose. Now, here's Neesmith. Here's Nemo, and it's good for two. Here's DiVincenzo. It's a 14-point game. Passes it to Hartenstein. And here is Achua. Ten points for him. Hart. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Siakam kicks to McConnell. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Turner passes to Neesmith. Now, here's Siakam. It's hauled in by Achua. The Knicks leading by 14. Pass to DiVincenzo. To the wing right side. Now, Hart. Hart. 
Shot clock at five. No good from outside. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Over to the left wing. Siakam inside. Covered by Achua. And that one, good. Siakam's got six. And always nice to have an inside-out threat like Siakam. He can have an impact anywhere on the floor. There's a good screen. Here's McBride. He's covered by McConnell. Pass to Achua. It's good from long range. 13 points in the game. Well, I love what he's done in this first half, at least so far. Increasing confidence every time down the floor. You can see it. Now, here's Neesmith, defended by Hart. Turner inside on the pass to McConnell. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Jalen Brunson, who's checked in for the Knicks. The Knicks leading by 12. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Siakam. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. They led by as many as 18 points. And he's really trying to get them back into it, but the results just have not been there. They set the screen. Here's Brunson. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. And, man, can Brunson get going in a hurry? He's got his fingerprints all over this one. And so it's McConnell with it. they will bring it up for Indiana. It's a 14-point game. Turner with a screen on Brunson from 15 feet away and that would have counted but his uh, shot was off the mark this time and we finished one half of basketball New York ahead leading by 14 and now let's catch up with David Aldridge who's standing by from the sideline all right Dave thanks a lot here with Tom Thibodeau coach what has gone well for your team in the first half Started making plays, you know, play unselfishly, force the defense to shift, attack, get downhill, then make a play. Your guys followed the instructions to the letter. Thanks, Coach. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And Game 5, a blowout so far, a big hole to climb out of for the Indiana Pacers. Their defense has been garbage, giving up all those easy looks. I could do better right now getting stops. At least there's some kind of presence at the rim. And looking at where the Knicks stand in this series, they've got a chance to retake a lead in the series and a hometown crowd eager to help them do it. You're right. Home court advantage could be the difference maker. Time to make that move. A pretty balanced series so far. Both teams have proven they can win game. So who knows what will happen? Not me. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. So glad to have you with us here as we bring you more action from Portsmouth at Game 5. You know, Jalen Brunson has been exceptional here, guys. Wow! And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker 
early on. And you know that's not a job they asked him to do very often but in the first half I thought he was in perfect sync with his teammates. And you are back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Josh Hart out there with Achua. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Hartenstein in at the center locking down the middle. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. Now Brunson. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And looking at that replay again, just a big-time block right there. It's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. Much more intense, more in-your-face, high-energy plays like that one are winning plays. Halliburton passes to Neesmith. He kicks to Turner. Count it. Good. Eight points for Miles Turner. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. Now, here's Achua, covered by Siakam. DiVincenzo passes to Hartenstein. And the shot goes in. Hartenstein's got nine. Pacers trail by 14. Halliburton outside. Passes it to Neesmith. Kicks it to Turner. Tries yet again. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Precious Achua. And Turner's length causes defenses all kinds of problems. I mean, he really uses that length extremely well to draw fouls. That's good from Turner. Yeah, you know, he's become a solid big man in this league. Miles Turner understands his role and is starring in it and does a really good job, I think, playing to his strengths. All three throws good from Turner. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Here's Brunson. He's got 16. Pass to Achua. Here's Hart. A three-pointer off the mark. Well, most games he can knock it down from deep, but it just isn't there for him in this one. Brunson against Halliburton. As to Siakam. From deep three-point land. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. Halliburton's got three assists tonight. Even Shenzo with it. The pass to Brunson. Over Halliburton. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Him hard the pass to Halliburton. Siakam. Rebounded by Hart. New York leading by nine. Passes to Brunson. To the middle. Turner with the steal. Siakam outside. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. He's starting to feel it. He's in a groove here in the second half. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. DiVincenzo passes to Brunson. Rejected by Halliburton. Got to be impressed with Halliburton's defensive instincts there. I mean, able to come away with the rejection. You don't see guards do that a lot. Now, oh, here's Siakam. Defense right on him. Knocked away. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Here's Brunson. And he banks in the layup. Brunson's got 18 points. 
And defense is all over Brunson inside, but still manages to outmaneuver them for the deuce. Halliburton for three. It's hauled in by Achua. Achua's got four rebounds now tonight. Brunson the pass to Hart. Brunson against Halliburton. They set the pick. Pass to Hartenstein. It's rebounded by Tyrese Halliburton. Halliburton's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Nemo. The trade. The Knicks pull it in. Hart's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. To the right side. Shot clock at six. That's the three fly. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Halliburton's got five rebounds tonight. Now the pass to Siakam. It's Turner high post. That's good. He's five for nine. Well, uh, they're getting stops. And they're attacking on the offensive end. You know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. The Pacers making a switch here. McConnell's checked in. Passes it to Brunson. Top of the key. The rebound by Turner. Pacers trail by six. And here's Halliburton. He's got eight. McConnell finds Siakam. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McConnell's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. New York's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Now, DiVincenzo. And here's Brunson outside. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Brunson's got 21 in the game. Outside turn. McConnell with it. Brunson picks him up. McConnell passes to Siakam. No good that time. New York leading by six. Pass to Achua. Here's Brunson. 21 points in the game. Inside. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. And New York making a change here. Nick Bride's checked in. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. They trail by nine points. Pass to McConnell. To the inside. Turner inside. Picked away. Halliburton against DiVincenzo. Out to the right wing. Here's McBride. He's covered by McConnell. Five on the clock. Here's McBride. Off target with his three. Pacers trail by nine. Siakam outside. They double-team Siakam. 
Turner with a screen on Hart. Here's Nemard. Hangs home the trifecta. Nemard's got five now. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. Feeds it to Turner. Indiana again, turning it over. And here are the Knicks now. Even Genzo with it. The pass to Hart. There's the pick. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. They get a hand on it. Achua, the pass to McGrunt. Good D by Siakam. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Hard against McConnell. Back to Halliburton. Like it's it. Turner. And Turner throws it down. Boy, that's just too easy, guys. Turner, a player you can't allow to get free near the rack. He's a great dunker. Bang. Passes it to Hart. Pass to Achua. Now, here's DiVincenzo. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Knicks. I like their defense tonight, and we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. You can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. They're very fresh, but also at the defensive end, how about the way they've been able to deny shot opportunities? Just tearing the opposition up in terms of denials. The first free throw is good. You know, guys, Josh Hart is somebody that's going to give you everything he's got. His combination of outside shooting and defense is really quite valuable to any team. Catching up on the changes for New York, Sims is checked in, and Alec Burks subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. And Hart drops them both. And so here is Indiana. Six-point game. McConnell kicks to Jackson. Pass to Shepard. To the paint. Here's McBride. He has yet to score. And there's the pass to Hart. Launches it. Powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Yes, indeed. Well done. The Upton inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And right there, you see the impact of Siakam's length. So tough to defend once he gets to his spot. Indiana shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. <laughs> Throw good, Siakam. A big man who can score, rebound, and pass. This is why Siakam has become a huge piece of this team. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for Hart. He hits one and misses one each at the line. New York leading by seven. Passes it to Brunson. Over McConnell. Brunson, no good. 
And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Indiana. And the shot goes in from Siakam. Rise and fires. This is Siakam's attitude off the catch. And with these results, you understand why. Fader on the way. Off the left rim and out. Pacers trail by five. Pass to Toppin. Siakam with it. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. They have not attempted as many threes here in the second half, which I'm scratching my head about. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. This is his second trip to the free throw line. The Knicks making a switch here. Hart's checked in. So here is New York. They led by as many as 18 points. Pass to McBron. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. McBride's got his first basket of the night. Well, the, the pick didn't exactly neutralize the defender, but, but good concentration on the finish to still get the basket. They double-team Siakam. Rebounded by Hart. The Knicks leading by four. And stolen by Siakam. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to go on Josh Hart. Now, I'm just so impressed with Siakam's offensive improvement over the years. I mean, he's mastering the ability to play in attack mode. First one drops. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive. You know that. I mean, another good job, though, of drawing contact and getting to the free throw line. Siakam hits them both. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Here's Brunson. And that one hits back iron. Oh, it's been a turbulent quarter. Really rough for him. Nothing going his way. He seems determined to shoot his way out of it. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. To be out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's McBride, and the rejection by Jackson. Here's Siakam. It's good. This game is all even. Siakam's got 25 points in the game. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling. He made it. Oh. He caught it. Big time. Wow. Oh, incredible buzzer beater there, guys. This crowd is going wild. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Knicks lead by three. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. It sure is. I mean, he's a maestro. Great vision, terrific IQ, everything you want in a point guard. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And a look at the five for the Pacers to start the fourth quarter. Toppin is out there with Pascal Siakam. And it's C.J. McConnell. Then it's Halliburton. And it's Shepard in at the small four. Siakam passes to Shepard. 
Got a piece of it. Here's McBride. To the middle. Fast break. Here comes Indiana. Here's Halliburton. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Ten points for Tyrese Halliburton. Clearly Halliburton is hunting his shots. He's not picky and knows exactly how to adjust on the mid-range jump shot. Here's McBride. Back to Brunson. On its way from Burks for two. It's rebounded by Indiana. McConnell's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's the pass to Siakam. Halliburton against Burks. Pass to McConnell. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And so it's Hard who brings up the ball for the Knicks. They led by as many as 18 points. Brunson doesn't need a lot of space to get his shot off. He has the ultimate confidence in that jump. With the step back. Siakam looking around. Toppin sets a screen for Siakam. From downtown, Toppin can't get it to go. The Knicks leading by three. Runs in the pass to McBride. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. down the first one. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Achua, he's checked in for the Knicks. He's perfect from the line this time. Pacers trail by five. And here's McConnell to the inside. Here's Jackson. Sings with the rebound. McConnell against Brunson. Pass to McGraw. Down low. Stolen by Jackson. McConnell passes to Nemo. Good. Nice job down low. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And there's the foul. It'll go on T.J. McConnell. That'll be his second foul of the game. Now, Burks. Back to Brunson. Some nice passing by New York here. Six on the shot clock. Here's McBride. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. Yeah, first turnover of the game. Overall, though, he's been rock solid. Halliburton passes to McConnell. Hooked away. Pass to McBride. Back to Brunson. Just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. McConnell against Brunson. Put on that shot. With that, the Nick lead is cut down to one on the bucket from Jackson. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Oh, that's a nice read from Brunson out of the pick and roll. Pacers trail by three. Outside Jackson. The 
pass to McConnell to tie it up. A three-pointer is right on target. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Back to Brunson for the three. And it's McConnell with the rebound. McConnell's got six rebounds in the game. To take the lead, it's tipped. And he stays with it. Just five to shoot. Jackson, a screen on Brunson. They get it back. Shoots the three. Nailed from three-point land. And it's a three-point Indiana lead. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. New York calls timeout. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. I listened to Tom Thibodeau talking to his team during the break. Now Coach told his guys it's not over until it's over. He asked them to stay sharp out there and to keep fighting. If we lose this, it's on us, he said. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Knicks trail by three. Even Genzo with it. Passes it to Brunson from outside the arc. Rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got his eighth rebound here tonight. There's the lob to Jackson. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Here's Hart. Got a piece of it. Here's Nemhard. Defended by Hart. Nemhard, the pass to Jackson. McConnell against Brunson. Shot clock at six. Pass to Jackson. Indiana needs to get a shot off. Halliburton for three. It's rebounded by New York. Hart kicks to Brunson. Inside. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Obi Toppin. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Pacers. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. And another thing they've been doing all game long is knocking down the three. Shooting has been a big part of their game plan tonight. That one is off. Some changes for Indiana. Turner's checked in for Isaiah Jackson. Pascal Siakam comes in for Toppin. And it's Neesmith in for T.J. McConnell. And the second free throw, good. They've got to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. Brunson against Halliburton. Here's Turner. And the Pacers can't get it to go. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Here's Hart. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got assist number eight now on the night. Halliburton against Brunson. Side Turner on deep looks good is good that's his seventh basket in 12 tries yeah this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowed poke loose Halliburton with the steal pass to Nemo the dish to Turner Oh, here's Neesmith, defended by Hart, and he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Yeah, not a perfectly set screen there, but got him just enough room to get that shot off. And 
that one misses. Knicks trail by five. Now, here's Hart. Defense is right there. Out to Brunson. Five to shoot. Puts up a deep three. Nemhard grabs the board. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Trail by seven. Now here's Brunson. Over Turner. And again, it's the Knicks missing. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this bad. Siakam against Hart. Halliburton for three. It's rebounded by New York. Hart's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Here's Hartenstein. Turner covering. Hartenstein passes to Hart. New York moving it around. It's stolen. On the pass to Siakam. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Achua, the pass to DiVincenzo. Brunson goes in. That one goes. Count it. Brunson's got 12 points here in the second half. Brunson against Halliburton. This is it to Siakam. Foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No question he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Good, Siakam. Siakam hits them both. And it's the Knicks with the ball. They trail by seven. Brunson against Halliburton. Pass to Achua. For three, buries the long-range jumper. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and 12 rebounds. Pacers leading by four. Siakam outside. Now, Siaka. Six to shoot. To the middle. And it's Turner finishing it off. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. New York's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Up top, Hart. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Siakam. Two. 
He drops the first one, and that brings them within five. Second free throw, no good, a tough break then. A disappointing trip to the line there. Even though it was just one miss, now is not the time to be missing those. Halliburton finds Siakam. Lock at six. Neesmith, the pass to Siakam. No good on the triple. Knicks trail by five. Here's Hart. In the corner, DiVincenzo. On deep, Brunson. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got seven rebounds in the game. Ball's not loose. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Now the pass to Hart. And here's Brunson. From the arc. It's good. And he has brought them to within two points. Well, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Here's Siakam. Got it. And delivering in the clutch. Siakam with zero fear, wanting the ball when it matters most. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. 40 seconds left in the fourth. And here is DiVincenzo. Now, Hart. Count it! And he has brought them to within two points. Yeah, clutch basket, even with him being on the short end of the stick. Size one. Really just shows you the toughness and determination this man has. Impressive. It's Turner high post. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. the ice cream with the apple pie folks excellent trip up the floor to stretch this lead out New York calls timeout they're down by five 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter what do you think guys yeah trying to get back in this thing they need a score yeah and they need it hiccup fast I mean they'll be drawing up a quick hitter in the huddle here no doubt Twenty seconds left to play here in the fourth. Hart the pass to Hartenstein. Now here's a chewer. Hands the three. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. Sure, it's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. Halliburton is a guy who really has no weaknesses. He can do it all and he does a great job of making everybody better. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. And that's the knockout blow right there, guys. Those free throws should put this one away. 
Tom T. Brunson. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Timeout called the Pacers. And that's an intentional foul. hit the first and that was the one they really want. He's got one more though. And he does get the second one and that will put them up by two. So a close game sees Indiana take this one. This was a pivotal game in the series so far, and they were able to keep their heads great, get the job done, and take the all-important three games to two lead. Now they can be yeah, right. just a little bit easier oh, knowing goodness. they're just one win away from closing this thing out. Had they lost this game, the pressure on them would have been huge. Oh, just gigantic. You're right. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Pascal. Thanks so much, David. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.